Welcome everyone, Comicola here, and I'm just going to be showing you some of the uh, Assassin's Creed 4 footage. I've just picked random side quest stuff. I'm not going to be showing any story spoilers or anything uh, from the PlayStation 3. Later on I will be doing like a full walkthrough. I'll be aiming for probably 100%, but um, I don't know how thorough I'll actually be. Like, I know I'll tr I'll get the story stuff at 100%, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Uh, some people get really bored with the collecting. Anyways, i here at a plantation, uh, just kind of trying to see if I can get through it without setting off any alarms. I realized that I'm too far away to actually use any darts on this guy, so I had to move closer. And I kind of chopped this gameplay up because... I spent maybe half an hour in this area just kind of trying out different dart types and seeing how stuff works. I've just been kind of experimenting. I've been doing really well so far, but I don't think I'm going to actually progress any further through the story until I get the PlayStation 4 version of this game. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Um, really, this is... I think it's a breath of fresh air. I think it's it's done a fantastic job with the series, revitalizing it, in my opinion. So, I cut out a lot of the stocking and everything, and I've moved up, and I've used a Berserk Dart on this guard. Berserk Darts cause guards to attack pretty much anything. They'll attack wildlife, they'll attack other guards, they'll attack me. Even though they probably already would have attacked me. But, uh, yeah, I just use it to kind of create a distraction. I wasn't expecting him to actually kill that guy that fast. And he picks a fight with a brute. I'm kind of checking out the other area. I see that the guy with the key is back there. I'm too far to hit any of these guys with the dart. I look down just in time to see the brute finish him off. I spent a bunch of time up here in the tree just kind of watching the brute. I was hoping that he'd run over by the manor house and actually attack some of those guys, but he doesn't. He just kind of runs over here, hangs out underneath this tree. What can you do? I was just kind of observing. One of the nice things is, I don't know if the standard Berserk Dart does this, but once you upgrade the Berserk Dart, and I think I have like Berserk Dart 1 or maybe Berserk Dart 2, upgrade um, it actually kills the people that you've shot with the dart after the dart runs out so it, it works like a poison dart and it helps stir up trouble it's really fantastic in my opinion so I do dart the guy up here and for some reason I keep on picking the people that are really weak I darted everyone else in this area and just kind of wait for them to die off. Because I have the upgrade dart, it takes a, like a full 60 seconds for them to actually die. I've got the key, and I think I'm going to do another cut in a little bit as I run back over here. I know where I need to go, but I spent a bunch of time just playing around with the dart still, again, because I'm trying to get the uh, complete silence for this and avoid setting off any alarms. I've disabled both alarms right now. Uh, that was the second alarm that I've disabled. I camp out in this bush here. I see that we've uh, got a guard up top. One of the cool things is if you shoot a guard with a rifle, a lot of the time, I don't want to say any actual percentage, but most of the time he'll actually start opening fire on guards down below. And it's really handy because he can kill people pretty fast, but there's also a chance that other people will hear the alarm and they'll freak out. Oh, man. Gameplay is a little bit stuttery right now, but uh, we're continuing on. Now I'm just kind of surveying the 
landscape, trying to figure out where everyone is. I know there's a guy over to the left, but I wasn't sure how close he'd be or if he'd be able to see me. The guard up top, his attention is diverted, so I move up. I decide now would be a good time to actually try to get into this uh, warehouse. I see that there's a door here, but unfortunately it's not a door that would actually let me in. Uh, one of the cool things about these little plantation warehouses is you can break in and they restock after a certain amount of time. I don't know how long it is, if it's in-game time or if it's actual real world time, real world time. I'm not sure. But I've, uh, this is the first time I've played on this plantation, but I've been on some others. And I'm getting ready to cut again to some seer gameplay. Oh, harpooning. Wow. This was one of the most frustrating ex harpooning experiences oh, I'd done yet. This is a white whale. Very rare. Uh, it actually happened to be a event that I found. Um, they show up as blue. It's, I guess it's a social event you can share yes. with your friends. Anyways, the white whale is the hardest one that I've actually knocked out and actually killed. One thing is when they say that tail's coming, you need to be ready to hit it with a couple of really quick harpoons. Where is it? Otherwise, it'll lift the tail up out of the water, slap it down, and destroy the boat. A, a whole bar of health. And if you don't get a couple. If you don't get a couple harpoons into him as he breaches there, he damages your boat. As you see there, he knocked off a little bit more than one whole bar. Now I'm just waiting for him to surface again. See if bow. I can get a good shot on him. That's it, lads. Steady. There we go. Right. He's in the sea right. Believe it or not, actually successfully harpooning this guy took me four attempts. Yeah, that's how hard it is. Every other harpooning thing that I did, I've managed to complete on my first try. This one, I've had to do several times. I want to say that this whale, this white whale, is one of the hardest, if not the hardest, harpooning experience in the game. I could be wrong there. It's just a guess. This one's dangerous. As you see. As you see, I started with, um, I want to say it was like 33 harpoons or something. I ended up using almost all of my harpoons trying to take this guy down. I think I, I use all except for like one or two. The, the most I've used up until this go. point was just about half of my harpoons. Ah, yes. and sure, I, I missed a little bit, <laughs> but see that, I didn't lads? miss enough that... I should have gone through all the harpoons. It's, it's just this guy has so much health. We've lost him. Any sighting? He's gonna Stand pop up go. again. Okay. He's a slippery oh, bastard. The beast oh, is I managed there. to get enough harpoons in him that he died and didn't kill the boat. I have gotten to this part before, and he actually flat out killed the boat. It's a huge whale. And then I do another cut. Here we've got hunters. Um, this is if you pirated enough and you've attacked enough ships. These hunters will actually come out searching for you. And my videos have more problems, so give me a second. Um, yeah, there we go. So, I open up with a mortar shot. Try to aim where I guess he's going to be. Because there is a little bit of travel time for the mortar to actually get to him. Now, I've got a ram on the front of my ship. And so I've got various tactics that I use. And this is one of my favorite ones, it's just coming up right next to him, 
the ram does a little bit of damage because I hit them with my ship. And then I also unleash heavy shot directly into the side of the ship, which disables most of them immediately. This is a brig that I just disabled. Um, that's the same ship type as what I have, uh, what the Jackdaw is. And uh, it's relatively low level compared to my ship right now. My ship can take on, oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of like level 23s pretty easily. But 30s, uh, you start to have issues with. So I just wanted to show you some of this ship combat. I have a bunch more of it because I've done a crap ton of ship combat. I've really enjoyed it, and that's what I've spent most of my time actually playing in this game. As you saw there, you have several options. I decided to go ahead and set them free. Setting them free uh, reduces my wanted level. You can also reduce it in town by uh, paying some realities. I think it's what the money's called. Reals? Rallies? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's Reals. Anyways, so I should cut again in a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh no, I was heading over to this uh, harpooning zone. And this is another difficult harpooning area. The reason that this one's difficult is it's a humpback whale and it blends in really well with the water. So, I have to guess where I'm going to be throwing the harpoons because I just can't see them on my screen very well. I can see them really well here, but watch as he uh, goes up ahead and starts pulling the boat. You can see them a little bit, but not very well. So I'm just guessing. Stay sharp, lads. So as you can see, I've already got his health down via low half health. Way faster than the event with the um, white whale. Ah, yes! And he goes ahead and breaches again. You see that, lads? Uh, I miss a few times. Time to end this, Captain. That tail's coming. The beast is hurt! Yes, he's done for! Oh, right. yeah. There we go. Another harpooning target done. Now, some of my voiceover is not going to match up quite exactly uh, because I have had to pause this video and skip forward a few times. We're going to jump again, and I'm going to show you some actual ship combat, and that is a level 23 frigate. And frigates are fairly easy. Like I said, I could take on 23s pretty easily. I could probably take on two or three 23s at the same time. Um, but the level 35s or 38s or whatever that I've come across... I really struggle with them because they use heavy shot a lot. I decided to try a new tactic that I've never done before against a frigate. I just open up with heavy fire as soon as I come alongside it. It doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping. And I was a little bit slow in dropping the fire barrels. If you're right next to them and you throw out fire barrels, you can get one of those to detonate because it just hits the ship. So again, with the mortar, I aim ahead of it. And... It disables the ship. Worked out well. And there's nobody else in his convoy. It's just a single ship. So they're really easy prey. Now this ship combat... I'm trying to remember, it's one of my okay ones, but it's not amazing. I always seem to screw up heavily when I actually get on board the ship. I end up fighting like an idiot. I get hit a lot. I don't really take care of stuff. I've started working on different tactics. 
this is one of them that I've started doing is uh, shooting before I actually swing over and I managed to take out a couple of guys, maybe even all three shots took somebody out. I'm bare fisted right now and I hit the button to switch over to the swords just in time to actually uh, fight back against this guy. Captain gets a lucky hit in, but he pays for it dearly. I decided I wanted to try to get a running takedown there and it doesn't work out. But we're getting close to the number of soldiers that we need to down to actually finish this. There we go. I should have shown you all of the different options, like what happens if you repair your ship, what happens if you lower the wanted level. I think I already showed the wanted level one. That's to repair the ship. And then um, sending a ship to your fleet, you just put a captain's hat on a member of your crew, and the ship's theirs. Um, trying to spot what that frigate is carrying. Unfortunately, I'm not able to lock onto it. I lock onto one of the, uh, I think it's a gunboat near it. So I'm trying to move a little bit closer to, and there we go, I can finally see it. It's a Spanish frigate. I can see that it's carrying wood and uh, I think that was cloth. I can't really tell in the small display. And I open up with my mortar shot. <laughs> I do that a lot. It's just, it does so much damage. You can't not use it. Again, I try to anticipate where he's going to be turning. So I can go ahead and uh, take care of him there. And, and I brace and ram him. Which is... issues. Anyways, and now I guess decided to take care of these little gunships, or these might actually be schooners. Schooners are kind of embarrassing to try to deal with. Those behind me are gunboats. I didn't realize he was dead in the water and I shot him with a heavy shot. Oh well. I decided to just go ahead, after I sunk that one, I decided to just go ahead and sink them all. I can die. I don't have to waste time with boarding them, and I can get half of their cargo. Now, one thing I didn't know early on when I was doing this the further south you go on the map, the higher the level the enemies. And so I was sitting here killing all these low level, level eights, and uh, whatnot enemies. And I was getting next to nothing in return for it. Finally, I figured out that if you head further south, you start coming across level 20s, uh, levels in their teens, and you get a lot more money, you get a lot more goods from these guys, and it helps you level up instead of spending days, or in my case, several hours, just farming low-level ships over and over and over with next to nothing for returns. If you're lucky, some of these frigates can carry like a whole 100, 150 wood or uh, and metal. Wood and metal are the two really big things that you need. Now I switched to smoke bombs because smoke bombs work really well. I do get hit here, but I think that's the only time I actually get hit while making my way through this ship. Drop another smoke bomb. Didn't really need it, but I did it. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to continue that kill streak. Anyways, that's it. That is a view of the um, PlayStation 3 footage of Assassin's Creed 4. Will you sign on, lads?